Syrian. The old pro, Charlie Connerly, perfects timing. He was a sweetheart and a good friend. And uh, Charlie was a very quiet type of leader, you know? He never had much to say until he found out who you were and you played well. And if he liked you, you were in. The 1956 NFL championship win launched the Giants into their golden age. With a new era underway and the popularity of football on the rise, Charlie Connolly helped turn Big Blue into one of the league's most dominant forces. They were a winning team back in those days. It wasn't a Sunday the past. They were no TV who was watching Giants. That was my team. Connolly hands to Webster, who hands to Gifford on the reverse. Barry supplies the block. Right laterals to Connolly. It's touchdown, Giants. After clinching the Eastern Division title in 1958, the Giants would again host the NFL Championship game at Yankee Stadium, this time against the Baltimore Colts in what would become known as the greatest game ever played. 11-year veteran Chuck Connolly does the quarterbacking and must be rated as an all-time great. The 58 championship game of Baltimore played in Yankee Stadium was a classic. Connolly drives an inspired team. He fakes once, twice, three times. Then fires a 46-yarder to Bob Schnelker. Keep your eyes on Gifford at left half. He slides out for Connolly's pass. Drives to Davis for a touchdown. And the amazing Giants take the lead. If you ask most pro football fans who played in the championship in 1958, Baltimore and New York. Johnny, you know what? I remember him and Charlie Connolly was a quarterback. People remember that game. Connolly nails Roat on the crossover. Kyle shakes off Davis and Tassik. But Nelson hits him and the ball pops loose. Winston picks it up and gallops downfield. Pandemonium grips Yankee Stadium. With New York leading late in the fourth quarter, all signs pointed at Connerly to win the MVP which meant that his wife would be awarded a brand new Corvette. But a late field goal by Baltimore tied the game, sending it to the first ever sudden death overtime. It's gone. High score, 17 off. It was a crazy, crazy day. They didn't win it so much as we lost it. And the Michi Rockets for the touchdown. The Colts win 23 to 17 as Big One breaks loose. Goal post Tucker as Yankee Stadium football capital of the year closes down a glorious giant season and the greatest game ever played. But unfortunately for Charlie's wife, Perry Ann would not get her new car. Instead, it was awarded to the MVP, Johnny Unitas' wife. They had voted it to me, but then when they scored right there at the end, they re-voted and she got my car back. She was probably still driving around in it. <laughs> Despite the loss to the Colts in the 1958 championship, Connolly would return for an encore in 1959 that proved to be one of the greatest seasons of his career as he led Big Blue to another Eastern Division crown and was named the NFL MVP. Good old number 42, the 38-year-old hero is honored, and here he is in person. Gifts galore, more than $20,000 worth. Perry Ann Connolly joins the party, and so do the coaches, the team, and the fans in a tribute to an all-time great. And later that night, the festivities would continue on one of the country's most well-known television programs. What's my life? That good husband of yours did it again today. He played a wonderful game of football. Where is he? Thank you. He was around here somewhere a while ago. Oh, he he did. Did. Charlie today was given the Jim Thorpe Award as the outstanding football player in the professional football field in these United States, and never was a, an award won so clearly and beautifully by him. <laughs> 